We are D and Allie. Come along and join us aboard Journey. Oh, yeah. Seasons change. No promise of tomorrow, but that's okay. Just live in the moment day by day. I am back on board Journey and enjoying the beautiful views around Puerto Adventuras. Dee flies the drone several times and catches some spectacular footage of the area we are able to live in right now. Catching me diving for a conch shell and the rays swimming under me is some special footage. The beach area here is just beautiful and we enjoy walking, sunning, and snorkeling right off the beach. We are especially enjoying our access to the PA Beach Club pool as well as our favorite, some spectacular sunsets. One of our new favorite places to eat and get a really fresh margarita is El Pancracio. I am sure more margarita pictures will follow in coming videos. We met Annette and Tony here one evening and all enjoyed the food and Rufino, who makes the best margaritas and shared a shot of tequila with us on the house. Yes, we love Rufino. While here, Tony and Ned asked us if we'd like be interested in a trip to Valladolid and Ekbalam. You know us. It didn't take us long to say yes and plan this adventure. Annette and Tony are 20-year residents of Mexico, and they share a really cool day with us of the interior of the Yucatan Peninsula as we head out from Tulum into the state of Yucatan. The roads were in great shape, and we were able to experience passing through so many little villages to our first stop in Valladolid, which was the first capital of the Yucatan state. Today, the capital is Merida. Valladolid is a beautiful city, just like most large cities in Mexico, which is built out from the city center square with a large Catholic church and government offices surrounding the square. We stopped for breakfast at a little hotel in the city square known as El Maison del Marquis. We ate in a courtyard just off the square, which was excellent. Our authentic and Mexican breakfast was impressive, and I wish I knew what we ordered and that the hotel had a menu online so I could look up the dishes, but they do not, so I can only tell you that it was fabulous, and I would recommend not just the restaurant, but the quaint little hotel. We hope to go back and spend a night or two at this hotel and explore this old Mexican city. After breakfast, it was time to work off all that great food, so we head to the Ekbalam Archaeological Ruins. This remote archaeological site is about 27 kilometers from Valladolid. A short walk through the jungle and the ruins quickly open up and stand before you. Ek, which means black or bright star, and Balam, which means jaguar, comes together to mean jaguar star or black jaguar. Depends on where you get your information. Many stories from the Mayan history surround how Ek Balam got its name, but none have been proven through the archaeological discoveries. I found more information about Ek Balam on the Chichen Itza website. 
You can read even more details about the history of Ekbalam from our blog post. The link will be in the description below. Before arriving at the Acropolis, you walk through the area where Pak to Pak was played. The best warriors were chosen to participate on one of the teams. Human sacrifices were made after losing a game of the losers. The players had to kick the ball with their hips, elbows, knees, and forearms and not let it drop. And once the ball passed through the rings on the wall, the game was over. We know this game as soccer today. Finally, as you pass through the area where Pak to Pak was played, you begin to see the rise of the ancient temple ruins of Ekbalam, known as the Acropolis. This temple housed homes and ritual areas. Dee decided that since he had already climbed Chitsumit so many years ago, that he would pass this time. But of course, he needed a photo shoot on the steps. The climb up seemed easy for a few steps, and then the skinny steps got steeper and steeper, and yes, I was scared, but determined to see it to the top and back. Tony was my partner to the top, and thankfully I survived. It's scarier than I expected, and I was surprised there has not been any accidents. The view from the top was spectacular, and I had no idea how far you could really see from the top of the Acropolis. Miles and miles. Almost a 360 view from the top. Another room we found at the bottom of the Acropolis had an opening where you could feel cold air coming into the room. Although the opening went down into the dark where there was no light, it was certainly a very cool space, probably down to some sort of cenote. However, the Mayans believe cenotes could be entrances to the underworld, so I'm not sure they would have ventured down there on purpose. As we walked back through the surrounding ruins, we spent a little bit more time exploring. Speaking of cenotes, after climbing the temple ruins and exploring the grounds around the ruins, we were hot and tired and ready for a cool swim in the cenote, also located on the Ekbalam grounds. The cenote Ushkan She is located in the middle of the jungle with easy access from the archaeological site. It has a depth of 40 meters. We had a blast. The water is so cool and refreshing. Check out the videos. <laughs> It's hard to leave, but the day must come to an end, and we have that two hour plus drive back to Puerto Aventuras. So we appreciate that Annette and Tony took the time to share some of Mexico with us and that, that we might not have found to explore. Stay tuned for more fun in Puerto Aventuras. We are living in the moment, capturing enjoyment. Living in the moment, life full enjoyment.